hello everybody and welcome back to another Minecraft video. This is Mythical Sausage. How is everybody doing, man? I'm doing great. Today we're showcasing our village. Our How to Build a Village series is done. We build everything within these walls. We also build the keep to end it off in the last episode. And I just can't wait to walk through, show you guys everything we built so far, and give you some interior for the keep because I saved that for today. Also, world download it is in the description go check it out if you want to download the world it's a java 114.3 world download it have fun walk around let me know what you think live in it have fun go crazy expand if you guys do expand send me pictures send me everything you got on either twitter or on discord i would love to see if you guys are living in here and expanding from this village also let me know down below what kind of village do you want to see next i'm so down to do another one of these let me know what style what biome what location what do you want to see in an upcoming how to build the village series all right so let's get on inside i added this little gate in the front here just so no villagers can leave it still looks safe and it still looks protected there's kitty cats roaming around here what's up cat uh but this kitty cat's inside as well so this is super cool if you guys want to check any of these tutorials we did everything here block for block go ahead and check the description there's a playlist go down the line if you missed any just go ahead and watch it and make it and have fun but uh this village is super awesome everything is super well protected super lit nothing bad is going to spawn here I don't think let me know if something does i got rid of all the berry bushes that we had uh at the beginning uh just so they don't get um prick to death so everything's cool so far so good uh we have beds beds are inside here he's i think he wants to go to bed early okay go to bed um and we have beds scattered throughout the world also uh, these towers be careful with some of these i think this one's safe uh the villagers are actually going up these ladders but this one tower right there uh be careful don't let them go up there because they love to jump out and get on top of the animal pen it's, it's totally normal. It's a thing. They, just don't let them in there. But let's start walking around. One of our first builds was, of course, the walls you see around here. And I love the way these walls came out. Uh, they're on the short side, but I wanted to make this village a little more compact, a little more uh, uh, lower to the ground, a little smaller. Uh, so that's why the, the walls aren't that crazy big. But they do the job, especially in a pillager raid. You're going you're gonna to be safe. You're going to be all right. Uh, but we had a little bit of interest around the walls, like these little overhang bits. Uh, there's beds here, beds upstairs here. Um, we have another rogue villager. That's fine. Uh, back here, we got nice little areas for little plants and crops are in this corner as well. Uh, the farmers are doing their thing right here. There we go. They're doing their thing. <laughs> so they're farming up. Uh, we got potatoes, we got carrots, and we got wheat right here. Oh, hello. I forgot about you. Be careful with those. Let's just replace that with something. Um, how about a, a fern? <laughs> I love those berry bushes, man, but in a village, you don't want them. Trust me, you're going to get deaths. Accidental deaths, right, my friend? Uh, so we have our starter house here. This is one of the first things we built. Uh, this is my home, but I let them live in here now. We got a librarian here with a lectern. We got a nice little kitchen area, and we got a nice little brewing area as well. This is the bedroom right here. Added an extra bed from where there was another one. There, there was like a barrel here last time, but uh, more beds mean more villagers. Have fun. Let me throw you. You can have that. Okay, let's go. Uh, so, besides that, we also have a cool little blacksmith across the way. This one was a lot of fun. This is our head blacksmith in charge right here, having a good time. This is our little forge area with a little water push push thing thing. A bunch of <laughs> items displayed right here, right? I'm showing them your wares, my friend. People are going to come from far and wide trying to buy your stuff. And you know what? I forgot to take those out. That's fine. Uh, let's put more of those. <laughs> so, be careful. If you guys see any of those berry bushes, get rid of them. Trust me. Now, inside, this is our little area here that the blacksmith sells all his goods. And then we also have a little bed and a little, little spot for uh, more villagers to spawn. <laughs> so they're having a good time right here. So this is a lot of fun. Also, one of the cool things we built over here. Actually, let's skip all of this. We built this cool little stable. I love this stable. These horses definitely should be rideable. Maybe Mojang, please, 115, have these villagers ride these horses around town. That'll be so cool. Uh, make companions or something. You, know, you can come with us. Uh, but over here, we got a little hay, uh, lofty corn. Corner, and we have more beds and um yeah the villagers up there let me just close this uh oh this barrel let me just close you know what i'm gonna just leave it open no i'm gonna, just, I'm gonna close it i'm gonna close it i'm gonna close it i'm gonna close it i don't want it to jump on top of that animal pen no more here keep that trap door uh but this side is super cool as well oh i barely but oh sorry i'm breaking everything get rid of the berry bushes don't forget uh, I thought I got both of them. <laughs> and then in the back of the blacksmith, I love this part. Uh, we have these uh, camp, uh, little camp, what was it, campfire blocks, but unlit, looking really, really cool, looking like they're about to be used later on. Uh, there's a nice uh, little, uh, what's this called again? A smithy table uh, for extra blacksmith. We're waiting for him to show up. 
but the animal pen right here. This was one of my favorite things to build and a bunch of people built it and sent it to me on Twitter and I love it. Thank you so much. I forgot about those, take those away. Uh, <laughs> thank you so much for building this. This is super cool. I love this style. So we have animals here. I don't. I didn't breed them up too much. We got about four of each, uh, four of the cows and four of the sheep, but you know what? There's wheat, breed them, have a big old time. Uh, and then back here, we got a little workstation area. What are you doing back here hiding? What are you hiding from this guy? What, what, what you got? Man, they, he's mad at him or something. I don't forgot what they did. You know what? I forgot to take all the bear bushes out. That's fine. T make sure you take those out. Uh, and then back here, we have a nice little bakery with a cafe in the back. And this one's so cool. I love this one. I would love to just sit out here, have fun, eat a piece of bread. Where's the baker? Oh, they're in there. Hold on. Let me say hi. Let's go inside the bakery. Check out that little area and say hello. See what kind of fresh baked goods they're baking. Um, can I get in? Thank you. Um... You know what? I think sometimes the carpet gets in the way, so just move those a little bit back. Oh, baby, we got bread. Let's go. Give me that bread right there. Oh, delicious. Oh, excuse me. How much is this? One emerald? Okay, I'll give it to you later. I owe you, all right? Thank you so much. This is a beautiful bakery. I love it. <laughs> I love this bakery so much. And it came out really nice. Look at this. We got nice little details on the ceiling. Uh, we got a nice little brick floor. A lot of people don't use brick as flooring. This is a very cool, contrasty uh, look, especially when you have wood around and different colors. It's a good contrast. I like it. But there's the bakery right here looking pretty good. Then, as we go down the side here in the little cafe area, while my friend here is having a little bit of... You want some bread? You have to bread. Uh, what my friends have is a fun over here. We have our lovely library. And this library, I love it so much. We got librarians hanging out. I think they're stuck over here. Let me push them. Everything's fine. Uh, this is a little bit of a bottleneck. You know, I know everyone wants to get all the latest books, but for real. Um, you can definitely fit there, sir. Whoa! Okay, let's go inside. I'll, I'll take care of him later. So we have our nice little library in here. This is all uh, beautifully done. I love it so much. Uh, this really feels like a library, especially you got all these nice little stacked up books here. We got some lectures here for the librarians trying to get to work. They're just trying to get to work. Really? I know you can fit. If I can fit, you can fit, okay? You're not even a librarian. What are you even doing? Get out of here. You're not supposed to be here. You're not a librarian. Get out. Okay, seriously. Are you for real? Okay, make sure you guys get rid of that. But I don't think it should be a big deal. I'm sorry I hit your friend. I'm sorry I hit your friend. Um, this shouldn't be a big deal. I can fit in it. And I'm not even crouching. Look, I'm not even crouching. Okay, how, how you doing? You doing all right? Oh, you, you, oh, that's your loom? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm using it as a bookshelf. Uh, but you can go in, in back in the counter. That's fine. Uh, so back here, we have a little counter area for the librarian to hang out. And, you know, you make sure you have the library card. It's all up to date and you can get your books out. And then up here, we have a nice little hidden area. And this is for, like, the very rare books. The one-of-a-kind uh, one single edition books that nobody can get. We got uh, original Tolkien library up there. Don't tell his family. We, we definitely have the originals in there. It's totally not fake. And then over here, we got a little spot here for this lovely old chap hanging out here doing some fletching. I don't know what they do. Uh, and then we have a nice little area here for sleeping. Uh, oh, he's trying to get upstairs. I'm not going to let him up. Actually, let's let him up. See you later. Have fun up there. Don't fall. Uh, but <laughs> that's awesome. I love that little spot. The towers. The towers, man. It just adds so much, right? Here, have a trap door. Uh, but then coming around here, we have our church, baby. This church right here. Oh, man. I love this church with all my heart. I love the shape. I've never had a church this exact uh, configuration before. Having doors on the side bits with a tower in the center. But instead of having your, like, traditional door that maybe you have it in the front or, like, an overhang, I put the doors on the sides here. And it's really cool shape. So come on in. We have a lovely uh, church. Uh, uh, I think it started, like, in 20 minutes, right? Yeah. The service is starting in 20 minutes. So I replaced these with uh, the stairs that we had before put more beds so we can have more villagers in here uh we have our main preacher and this is our altar boy right here hanging out they're about to do a sermon they're gonna stay right here and do their thing uh, we're gonna come back later if anything you know download the world and every uh 4 30 they come in here they do some singing it's gonna be great uh so we got some hanging lights nice little beams here and i love this place so much the details on the ceiling really bring everything together have a little carpet in the center and everything's looking really cool i like this church man. i like it again if you guys want to download uh the world it is in the description go check it out uh and if all my bedrock friends i'm sorry i don't know how to convert java to bedrock if anybody does know how to do it do it for me put it in the comment section help your fellow bedrockians out is that how you call bedrock that's fine now we have our lovely little inn here our tavern on the first floor i love this place so coming on in taps 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 kegs everywhere we got all the best ales meads in the in the in the kingdom right here with a nice little uh fireplace in the corner there used to be a bunch of people here i guess they're gonna come here later on tonight whatever 
Then over here, uh, this is our in section. Oh, that's where you guys are. Excuse me. Excuse me. I. Are you for? Really? Is that what's blocking your way? It shouldn't. It should. I'm going through. But here we it, we have our in. Hi. You. Uh, ooh. Sorry. I didn't mean to. Uh, and then we have our bedrooms over here. Uh, some can fit two. Some can fit one snugly. Oh, hi. How you doing? And then we have another one over here. You guys are doing great. I'm not going to... You know what? Let's give them some privacy. Uh, I'm just going to break this in here real quick. It's fine. Uh, <clears throat> just be careful when you go in here. You don't want to just, you know, just barge in. But yeah, that's our inn. Looking very cool. Very lovely. Very awesome. We have a nice little area over here. I'm going to just scare them. This is our first scare job of the day. Go, go home. There's bad guys out there. There's bad guys. That's where we keep our bell, right in the center of town. Um, not really the center of town. This is the center, sort of. It is a well. It works. It is lovely. That's where we keep our bell. I love it. Then, back here, I don't know what's happening, but there's a cool little spot over here. They're just hanging out, doing their thing. I think it's that. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to hit you. I didn't mean to. Ooh, I didn't, I didn't mean to. I didn't mean. I, I was just trying to get that out of there. Let me bring that stone cutter back. Um, hold on a second. Stone cutter. Let's just put that stone cutter real fast back in here. I keep messing up. Okay, can, can I please pick you up? I can't believe you didn't lose this trade. Okay, let's leave him there. That's fine. Everything's okay. Uh, lovely to see everybody here. So let's keep going with the last and final build of this area, which was our keep little mini castle, big old manor house, whatever you want to call it. I love this place. So we pretty much decided to expand our village by breaking out this wall, adding two more towers, and then going back here to this area. And I think this is literally one of my favorite builds I've ever built. I love it so much. The shapes are looking so good. The texturing is all there. We have a nice little courtyard over here. We have a little spot here for the for some arrow shooting, right? And then we got a little fletching table there. Uh, we couldn't do it with this. I would love to use that target as the uh, the target for the the, uh, the arrow shooty shoot, but I couldn't. It's all it's directional. This is going to be this direction for all time, and we can't flip it. Come on, Mojang, let me flip it. It's fine, but it's looking pretty good. We got also beds in here for the villagers to hang out. These are all uh, the guards and the hangout people, the people who actually clean inside, looking pretty good. More in here. What is, what is he doing over there? Look at that guy. Hey, are you stuck in there? Close the door, maybe go around or something. I don't know. And then out here, I love this spot right here. Look at this. We got a nice little book area here. You can pick a book. You can sit down and have fun here in the corner. Uh, a little spot here just for extra storage. I love this chimney thing right here. Uh, we have ourselves a nice little garden in the front as well. And then back here, this is one of my favorite little spots. A little peaceful little uh, gardeny area with a nice tree just popping out of the roots. Coming out, spreading out his wings on the top. Um, his leafy wings. But let's go inside. Let me show you what we did for interior this is a first right here nobody's seen this let's go and oh let me get rid of this grass you want to come in too all right everyone wants to come in so boom right here as you come inside we have these cool little cross beams on the top some hanging lights with the lanterns we have ourselves some potted uh, plants on the corners and we have ourselves some uh, armor stands really cool armor stands one on each side could be the, the 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 king and queen of this area whatever it's not really a king and queen here you know this is just a big old rich person's house but it looks pretty cool they, they pretty much got these from an antique shop down the road uh, over here we have a nice little uh, kitchen area which the villagers decided to walk on top and close my doors. These are supposed to be uh, uh, nice chairs, nice regal, very expensive chairs. Definitely not Ikea, they're from some real weird spot that I, I don't remember where I got. But we have ourselves some nice little uh, flower pots right here in the corner which are just cups. We have some um, sea pickles which represent the greatest candles, the greatest scented candles in the land. Some paintings and looking pretty cool. We got some stores on the side. Of course, what do you do with a stair? You put some jungle underneath. So we got some stores underneath, some stairs right there. And it's looking pretty cool. Uh, on this side is our kitchen. Check this kitchen out. So we have a nice little smoker area lined up right here. And I love this part. I love this part right here. We got a nice little cabinet area. And check this out. I added uh, a little, uh, there's a little watering area. This is our sink, technically. All it is is a stair facing this way, waterlogged. And then we put uh, some crops inside. So this is super cool, just having some uh, greenery inside. It actually looks like we have some potatoes just thrown on the side, ready to go into some kind of soup or something, which looks really, really cool. I like that. Uh, oh, you know what? Maybe if I twist this, this might look a little better. Yeah, you don't see that piece of dirt. There you go. Twist it. Make sure if you don't know the world, twist that for me. Uh, and then we have another one up there as well. I think there's a carrot, there's a potato there, looking pretty cool. Uh, and then come with me. Now we have this little spot right here, which is very simple, nothing to it, but this takes you upstairs. And I'll show you that from the other side. We have so many ways up, it's crazy. We have a way up here, 
way up there and then a way up over here so this part right here we have a fish tank check that out since i did uh add a lot of extra details on the outside bit this was a it allowed me to push it back a little bit add a little bit of water add some sand down there put a big old glass pan <laughs> some glass in the front and some fishes in there so those are my boys they're hanging out looking pretty cool having some fun so a little fish tank built into the wall right there looking awesome uh we have uh some barrels some extra details we got a little library area here on the bottom just having fun it's cool uh and then let's take a little spiral going up now this spiral is super cool because this takes us now to another little area where let's say you got your books downstairs you just come up here you sit down and you just relax and have fun this is a really cool little spot plus you know what i love the vaulted ceilings up here so the same downstairs we have the same type of vault and which looks really really awesome and then on this side we're gonna cross over we have that stair that you can see right from there with all the junk underneath and over here we have three different spots you could go to well one you can go to the main big tower right here two you can go to this little storage area right here, which connects to the smaller tower, which is the one we just passed right there. And this takes us up into the, the roof of that spot, which is really not much to it. Pretty much just mirrored what's happening. Uh, we did have some villagers here. I think the, these are them. <laughs> they went downstairs, but uh, this is a really cool spot. This one overlooks the village looking pretty cool. Uh, but also uh, this spot right here connects to, excuse me, the bedroom, the master bedroom. Oh, um, is it okay if I come in here for a second? Thank you. Whoa! Hey! Who banging? Is that like an early warning system? You're telling these people I'm coming in? Well, I'm coming in real fast. Give me a second. I'm going to show people. So this is a master bedroom right here. This is a big old king-size bed. Got some barrels on the side. We got some strip logs in the front and back. Looking pretty cool. And I like this area so much. This is the master bedroom. If you guys are going to live here, that's your bed. Uh, just kick these guys out. I don't know what they're doing in there. Uh, and then, yeah, let's go to our last little final little spot. This one takes us to the top of this tower. And I love the top of this tower right here. Uh, it takes us to this spot right here. This is actually a very cool Cool, very loungy area right here with extra storage for barrels we got some lecterns and just hanging out and then this takes us one more level but check out the vault on this one the vault on this was a little bit different from the vault on the other one it's more like a stony vault with some uh, trapdoor lining looking pretty cool and then last but not least we have some wizards hanging up here hanging out doing some spell casting having some fun right here in the corners uh, we have some seats here for them to hang out and also uh, so just a little added little details hey with a rose check it out be careful Careful. you might get hurt but love it i love it so much this is one of my favorite builds man hopefully you guys did enjoy this let me bust out this window right here this is the, this is the way i get out um be careful though it's it's, it's not safe so <laughs> let's let's take a quick little spin but hopefully you guys did enjoy this series i had so much fun making this area now another thing i want to let you know is that we have villagers on the roof there. Uh, be careful. I think they jumped out of the top. That's where they came from. But it's okay. They're kind of like gargoyles, okay? It's like a new mod that we added to the series. No, it's not. I don't know what they're doing there. Please be careful. Uh, but we, there's a bunch of other builds in this area. So be on the lookout. Look around. There's stuff everywhere. We have a ravine starter house here. We have some fantasy houses here. We have a bunch of other houses. Our cave house is in this world. Very, very close. If you guys find it, let me know. Send me a picture. Say, hey, Salsers, I found one. There, this guy it all the way around i'm not gonna tell you where they are i might tell you where one of them is one of them is right there that's our fantasy house okay and if you go down this river you might find our um a little uh what's it called the cave base down that river but there it is we're done hopefully you guys did enjoy we got some parkourers here hanging out in, the, in there but thank you again you guys are amazing let me know down below what do you want to see next i'm loving this i would love to do another one let me know what style you want to see but i'm out of here for now thank you so much for watching you guys have been amazing i'll catch you on the next minecraft video goodbye